Hello, this is Pastor Chris Wilson of St. Andrew Christian Church, and here to talk about worship and, in particular, the sermon for this coming week. We have been in a series entitled B dot dot dot, and I've been kind of filling in the phrase each week with a different word. So be yourself, be joyful, be still, and this particular week the theme is be brave. Uh, the grounding scripture passage for our uh, worship experience this week comes from the book of Acts chapter 7. And it is a story of uh, a man named Stephen. And Stephen is out uh, proclaiming um, and carrying on the very message Jesus was doing with his own ministry. And he approached a group of people and started, uh, the, the phrase the scripture used, he called them stiff-necked, <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. Uh, he basically calls them out and saying, you were invited to live a certain healthy, loving way, and you have not been doing that. And he calls them out. He speaks truth to power to them in that moment. And they get upset with Stephen because he says what he says, and the end result is they stone him. Um, Stephen had every probably knowledge to know that if he had addressed the crowd and calls out and sparks that kind of agitation within the crowd that there would be consequences um, to him speaking out. But he was unwilling not to say something. He felt compelled he needed to speak truth uh, to systems that were not abiding by what maybe God's hope for the world should be, God's dream for the world. The beloved community was not being enacted and fulfilled uh, the way Stephen saw uh, the world operating and so he he spoke out and he he called out the people saying you were invited to to do this and now you're not um and how hard it is to to be the voice that rises up and says i need to point out something here and bravery is a hard thing to come by it's hard to be the the one that speaks up or the one that represents or the one that goes out when others refuse to go. And Stephen's story reminds us of bravery in so many ways. We, we struggle with bravery in our family systems. We struggle with bravery in the workplace. We struggle with bravery in the wider community. We, we see injustices happen all around us in our communities and wider communities and country. And our refusal to be brave only uh, makes those systems continue to be unjust. And uh, we are called out to to enact bravery in ways that we may not have imagined, but we also know that bravery is found in strength. Um, and so when we can be brave together, um, we can accomplish far more because our voice is louder, our impact is greater. And so we will uh, try to, to work with this theme of being brave uh, when it's hard to be brave. So I hope you'll join us on Sunday.